I saw, I was got an email saying, would I like to put a pitch in for this commission? The, the thing I liked about it was because it was music and art, you know, not just because it was like um, the Beatles or whatever. It's good to work on something which is musical and what I do. So combining the two, I just had to get Beatles references, think about things which, which I associate with being this band who defined a decade and still cast this ever-lengthening shadow over the whole of the music world and um, honouring that really. So they grew from being like a beat band, you know, quite possibly launching the whole band concept into a global proportions. There was an awful lot of solo artists before then really, wasn't it? So I, I wanted to represent the beat band, the black and white kind of beat band of, this, of the early 60s into go more like a progressive psychedelic band that they that they became, you know, and um, this is what this is, this is this, really, I wanted a really loose illustration of, of um, like a kind of 60s style mop top. And then on the other side, it's like where they ended up being like proactive in the peace movement and psychedelic LSD trips. What well, I started with the bass drum, thinking that, that was a central thing with the Beatles written on it. But then I decided there's, there's, there's loads of bass drums with the Beatles written on it because obviously it's one of their trademarks, their, their, their logo. But I kept the bass drum in and then I thought about dropping a submarine on, underneath almost like it's, in, it's, it's underwater, under the sculpture. And then in the yellow submarine, all the periscopes come off the top. I haven't seen it for years, but I can remember the periscopes coming up and twirling like triffids or something. So then I thought, right, I'll put the, the submarine at the bottom and then I'll turn the periscopes into trumpets. And then it's like the horn of the um, yellow submarine is, is kind of pumping all this music up out, out the top and, and then that's represented then by the bass drum with all the other instruments, the string section, the brass section, a bass guitar pointing left. And then at the top of that, the, these are the tubers and the horns blowing out the top and at the very top of it all is the guitar which is the songwriter's main tool if you like, uh, along with the piano. So they kind of, they're at the pinnacle of the sculpture, like, it's like a journey up, really, through three stages, you know. And McCartney wrote some of his early hits on, on a Zenith guitar. Not the same model, but the same make. And I've had this guitar since 1987, and I haven't, um, played it for some time. It's always hanging on the wall because it's a gorgeous long guitar, so I've decided to donate it to the uh, sculpture and so more people can appreciate it. What the Beatles did, which nobody, whether you're a particularly big fan or not, what you cannot deny is that they wrote the book, tore it up, wrote the book again, tore it up, and I really respect them as artists for doing that because they were constantly changing and evolving and they always look different in these different chapters throughout the 60s and uh, you know it's really a commendable thing that, that, that they did and you know that's why they're still so massive to, to this day and they didn't just do a couple of good albums they did something like 12 albums over a 10 year period which um, for the most part is filled with fantastic music you know but the fact that it's in Matthew Street for me personally is a big thing as well because that's where I cut my teeth as a musician going to Eric's just over the road and believe it or not I mean we we were quite dismissive of the Beatles at that time we do it was wallpaper in Liverpool it was just everywhere you know still and although it wasn't to the extent it was now I mean when I say you know there was the science here in the cabin and there was the four lads who shook, shook the world which was a really nice um, testament to them but um, the Beatles music, you know, it was time for some, something new in the late 70s and, and um, so, you know, you kind of go too far the other way. And it, so, I, you know, we didn't really get into the Beatles until, and well, I, I, got, I got my first Beatles album in about 95 and um, Matthew Street and Eric's is, is in many ways, for me, 
Well, it's more important than the cabin because it's that was where where I was when I was a kid. But the fact that it was literally, you know, five paces on the other side of the road is quite remarkable. And there was the tea rooms right next door to the cabin walks, which was a car park at the time, where all the bands formed, and you'd see all the Liverpool bands in there. And then around the corner was Probe. And so, for me to be putting a permanent sculpture there in that vicinity. It's not just acknowledging the Beatles, it's not just acknowledging what a fantastic club the cabin was, but for me personally it's acknowledging Liverpool music, you know, it's dedicated to all the diehards and the people who didn't have their 15 minutes of sunshine, you know, and it's been a pleasure to work on, you know.